I started as a first year apprentice and I would have never dreamed that I would be a CEO of NECA. All along the way there was milestones of successes of whether it was a, a having an opportunity to run a service truck and be a technical specialist or have an opportunity to be a field supervisor or a project manager estimator. And all along the way, the journey prepared us for this path. The apprentices of today are, you know, the tasks that they're learning, the tools that they're, they're learning, the way they learn is so much different from when I went through my apprenticeship program. They are the future of our industry. David Long and Lonnie Stevenson, industry leaders who were once in these apprentices' work booths, we're able to all be in the same room with the next generation. This is Apprentice Day 2019 at the NECA convention and trade show. Did I got it the last time I showed it to Brother Cooper? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys say you want to get them out on the <laughs> What stuck out so big in my mind is that they all still had their dues receipts just right there, easy to grab. It's that the fact that they started out from right where we are and uh, they're at more or less the top of their respected fields and everything now, so that's a, that's a huge motivation. To be able to talk more with the NECA representatives and challenge them and see what exactly they're bringing to the table and see how I can bring myself later as a journeyman and possibly more. After talking to industry leaders, apprentices then get the opportunity to walk the NECA show floor. Oh, this place is great. I mean, you get to see your, your industry. You get to be excited about what's coming, and you get to learn about all the new tools. I think it's really exciting. This is an amazing event for a first year, seeing everything and everybody at one, talking to everybody, learning different things. I enjoy meeting people and going around seeing all the different contractors and the different trade specialists. Networking is important because eventually, as I'm an apprentice now, I will have to have those connections later on. It builds reputation. It builds my well, my business profile. You need to be here because you're going to learn, you're going to meet people, you can network, and you never know where the trade's going to take you. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You have to come. It was an entire day dedicated to confirming that these apprentices made the right career choice. I chose this career because I knew it was going to give me everything that I needed in it. It's got dependability. I can take it anywhere I want to go. Not only did they put me through school, but it's a college degree when I'm done with it. This is it. There's no more job interviews. There's no more worrying about work. If work slows down one place, I know I can go somewhere else and still work, and I'll always be able to provide for my kids. It's really nice to go around, to go to different job sites. You learn different things. You get to get hands-on experience. You know, you get to be trained, and it's really fun. It's not like a normal desk job. It's just, it's always interesting, always something new to learn. I tell them that you're learning a trade that you can use anywhere in the world, that you can travel. You, you know, it opens up so many doors for you, not only just becoming an apprentice, a journeyman, uh, a foreman, general foreman, project manager, and hopefully owner of your own company. The NECA IBEW Powering America team is continually looking to train and recruit the best and making sure we build a diverse workforce. We're growing these institutions and these organizations like never before. There will be many, many, many more opportunities than President Stevenson or myself has ever had. Tools continue to change, technology continues to change, that they're going to have to really have a career of learning, not only through the apprenticeship program, but ongoing when they're journeymen and women as well, going back and getting the up, most updated training that there is, so we stay above the curve. What we do to get a diverse workforce is outreach. So we reach out to the different chambers, the different groups, uh, women's group, ethnic groups. I even go to the barber shop. I go everywhere to get the word out about opportunities within the apprenticeship program and in our industry. The NECA IBEW Powering America team is all about building. From their cities and towns, they're invested in working together. Our relationship with NECA is vital to 
our existence really and to expand. We have mutual respect for each other and at the same time we have a common goal. We both want growth and we want sustainability for our workers and for our contractors. And he wants more contractors in the industry just like we want more electrical workers. You build a relationship, you build it on trust and integrity and you move forward collectively. The message of the day, joining the NECA IBW workforce is an evolution of a career. It's a journey, not a destination. They've got to continue to get better every day. If we can give that sense of, of accomplishment to every individual that for the rest of my life I'm going to continue to grow in my career, it's a home run. All the work, motivation, encouragement, time, effort, and funding is creating tomorrow's workforce. And it's looking pretty good. You're as strong as you want to be. If you want to be that great leader, go out there and be that great leader. Don't let anybody ever hold you down. Never, ever be afraid of what you could be. For Electric TV in Las Vegas, I'm Erica McClarity.